OMG UG! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another customization video. And this time it's another illegal customization. And we call it illegal because you're not technically supposed to be able to put the parts together like that, but we're forcing it in. And we've always been like kind of looking out for the next heaviest Beyblade or the next tallest Beyblade, the next thickest Beyblade, whatever it may be. Today's the day. We're gonna be achieving that goal. So this idea was inspired by a Japanese YouTuber called Yuki and he thought of this method to be able to combine these bays together to create this super tall combination which is so crazy and so creative. So shout out to Yuki for that, um, assuming that he came up with that original idea. So basically we're going to be using the same methods to make this heavy combo but we are going to customize it a little bit ourselves to make it even heavier. So you guys saw from our previous videos, we reorganized all our parts, so we're ready to make something crazy. Are you guys ready? So right here is all the parts that we'll need to create our crazy combo. We do have some extra parts in here, so you don't need every single part, but the most important piece comes from Master Diabolos, because this is a piece that allows us to actually put driver and disc on either side of that layer. So it's a super crazy layer. This is the only layer that has that ability. And plus, we also have our Nightmare Longness, another critical component to make our combo. This Nightmare Longness was a game changer back then uh, because it was a layer and disc combination all in one. And we're gonna maximize that capability, brute force it, hack it, and make this crazy combo. And we're doing all this without any glue. All right, so that means you can just, you know, flip and flop them, customize it, and it'll all go back to original parts. You're not gonna be ruining the parts. For this combo to work, you'll need a Nightmare Longness, a master base, a pretty skinny driver, another driver we chose to use charge, two of any disc you have, and also you'll need a lift frame. Let's get started. All right, so step one, you're going to need Nightmare Longness because we need to exploit this design. This design from Nightmare Longness has the layer and disc combined. So what you want to do is flip it upside down. That's your first step. So step two, you're gonna find a driver. I have this evolution driver and you want to place this driver upside down. So it doesn't really make sense right now, but you're gonna see why we wanna do this. So you're gonna to wanna to place it on the back of the layer. So for your third step, you're gonna to wanna to find a disc. I have a double zero disc because it is one of the heavier ones. And you want to place that into your lift frame. The special part about the lift frame is you are able to put it on both ways. So once you put your disc on like so, it doesn't matter which side, you want to grab your Nightmare Longness with the driver on like that. Step four, place the frame and disc on the bottom of the Nightmare Longness. And you're gonna feel that you can actually lock in the frame onto Nightmare Longness. So that way, you basically have one big piece right here. Wow, All it's right. looking so funky. Yep. So basically using that lift frame to attach two sides together. For step five, this is where we'll need our master base and we're gonna place it and lock it in. All right, so now it's like a, this chunk of Beyblade. Wow. <laughs> all right, we're not even done yet. That's not all folks. Step six, probably one of your last steps is to just attach your disc and driver on like that. So I chose Sting and Charge because that is one of the heavier combos out there. And I'm trying to achieve the tallest Beyblade and the heaviest Beyblade, okay? So there you have it. This oh is a goodness. big chunk of Beyblade, all right? Many components that mix this up. Uh, what you can also do as a for step six is to substitute for other drivers. So for example, I have a generate here, and if I push it real tight, it does lock in better. But the generate driver is a little bit lighter, so maybe I'll try that later on. Be a little bit careful when you're locking the base together because sometimes they kind of move around and you don't want to break your parts because we are technically forcing the parts together. All right guys, so six steps to complete this bay. So I don't know what to call this yet, but uh, I consider this like the triple dragon combo or the or the dragon trio combo because we have longness, we have diabolos, and then we have parts from dragon. Dang guys, 
three bays in one, basically. This is crazy. Dude, it's real tech, man. Definitely exploiting all the parts to make this possible. All right, guys, are you ready to launch it in the stadium? And maybe we'll do some test battles. So the moment of truth, let's, let's weigh see. this bay. How big is this boy? Yo, 134.96, so basically 135. 135 grams? Bro. Is this even the Beyblade? Ooh, dude, that's huge. Well, I guess it is like three Beyblade in one, so uh, I guess that's how it is. Or if you feel adventurous, you can add in a electric driver. First we had Blue Blood Longness, and now we have this Blue Dragon Trio. I don't know guys, what would you guys call it? Triple triple dragon stack. <laughs> a stack, stack of cash. Yo, yeah, the stack, no, it sounds like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Test been time. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot. Oh, oh, what? I just split apart. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot. It's like break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real spin. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one, one, go shoot. shoot. Oh. Hey. Wow. Dude, it looks so thick. It looks so good. Like the blue color, the silver and red. It matches so well. Two bays stacked together. More like three. Yeah, it's more like three. But from like when you launch it, it looks like two bays that are basically like glued on top of each other. The Beyblade stack. The thing is you can't launch too hard or else it just breaks apart, I feel. What a tank, man. Oh, break dance time. Okay, let's uh, swap it out for an electric driver. Three, two, one, go! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Will it actually activate? That's the question. You can kind of see the green lights peeking through, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna activate. Oh, it's wobbling! <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> nah, it doesn't work. We can't launch it hard enough. Three, two, one, go shoot! <laughs> you win against the tank. I did launch pretty light, but it's so funny though. The mobility on this uh, tank is like 1 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one, go shoot! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Almost got sent out of the stadium. Can't knock me out. <laughs> Three, two, one, go shoot! It's like the final boss. Oh, <laughs> peace! Knockout got knocked out. All right, let's step it up to a GT Bay. Let's use Grand Dragon. Oh no! Blow it. Three, two, Three, two one, one, go, go shoot! shoot. All right, next up, Union Achilles. Should I start launching full power? <laughs> Three, Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, oh, Union, no. Three, Three two, one, go shoot. Here we go. You can do it, Union Achilles. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yo, that was, that was like yo, the Dread Phoenix move. Yo, or that was like a bullet driver. <laughs> you came apart, I thought I won. Oh, that was sick. All right, guys, so what did you guys think of our customization here? This illegal one. I uh, don't know what to call it yet. Again, you guys are going to be the one that decides the name of this bay. For now, I'm sticking with uh, the dragon trio. I, I like I the know. triple dragon stack. Triple dragon stack. Remind, oh, yeah, the stack. Sounds like a burger. Sounds like a burger. Yeah, it sounds like something you can order at a fast food place. <laughs> Beyond meats. Yeah. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, so that's basically it for our customization. Again, Yuki, you are a genius for thinking about this idea. And I'm sure you guys trying at home uh, will probably think of something else even more creative. So let us know in the comments below if you guys tried it with a different driver, maybe you made it even heavier, or tried it with a different disc or a different layer. Something else that sparks your 
brains? Let us know in the comments below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks out!